Hey everyone, today we're going to be updating you on the BFA Arena meta jumping into patch 8.0. Arena is currently one of the very best ways to gear up, with top PvE players prioritizing Arena even over raids for gear, so having a jump on the meta will allow you to get some of the best gear in the game fast. Starting with the EU meta, let's talk about which comps are the most competitive in the current meta post top fixes. RMD and RMP have been seeing incredible success at the top of the ladder, with the all-star roster of Method Black piloting RMD to the top of the ladder. Europe's number one rogue, Waz, has primarily been playing the Outlaw spec in RMD, with Raikou playing the Frost Mage. However, the subtlety rogue seems to work just as well for them, except usually with Chas on his Discipline Priest. And it's not only Method Black that are doing well with RMD and RMP, as both Nixie and Alec of Tempo Storm, who are the current BlizzCon champions, have also been doing incredibly well as Outlaw Frost RMD with Benhoike on the Resto Druid. On top of that, the world's second best RMP last season have also been dominating with making a movies Acrolols, Marrow, and Ratapai once again doing very well together. On top of their RMP, making a movie have also been trying their hand at some god comp, and with Shadow Priest buffs looming, we wouldn't be surprised if the BlizzCon finalist Villae is able to shoot up the ladder. The summer finalist runner-ups XRB to the Moon started off the season incredibly strong, with Blizzo and Looney on their comfort picks of Arms Warrior and Resto Druid playing alongside several different BM Hunters, including the Spring Finals winner Disio managing to achieve a 92% win-loss ratio with the almighty KFC. Although, with the recent hotfixes to Arms Warriors and BM Hunters, it remains to be seen if they're able to maintain such crazy success with the comp. XRB's attempts at playing LSD with Zipai and Wallerix was more of a mixed bag when compared to their success with KFC, as they really suffered against Rogue Mage. However, LSD may still be a formidable comp against other spell cleaves, something that could prove especially useful for XRB if God Comp does return to its former glory. Taking a step back from Europe's top performing esports teams, many players have been doing exceptionally well with Jungle Cleave, both as BM and Survival. We expect this comp to remain as one of the best throughout the start of BFA. And speaking of Hunter comps, Rat Hunter has also seen some success in the current meta, with several Rats piloting it to the top 50 of the ladder. Just bear in mind that it does have a really difficult RMP and RMD matchup. Finally, a comp I'd like to mention that plays quite differently to everything I've mentioned so far is Ellie or Enhance, Boomkin, Resto Druid. Because of how high hybrid off healing is, this comp is really able to outlast its opponents. You'll find that the Elemental Shaman and Balance Druid can easily combine to match their Resto Druid's healing output over the course of a game, making it very difficult for opposing teams to take them down. That about wraps it up for the current EU meta. I'll hand it over to Supertease now to cover the differences over in the US. Hey everyone, Supertease here. There are some significant differences between the EU and NA meta, so if you're playing on the NA region, here's some things to look out for. Enhancement Shaman and Mistweaver Monk do a great job of shoring each other's weaknesses up, with the Enhancement Shaman protecting the Monk from crowd control, and the Mistweaver providing powerful heals to top the Shaman through heavy burst. This composition would normally be considered weak on the EU ladder because of the plethora of rogue mage teams, however, the population of rogue mage teams on the NA region are far lower, so expect to see compositions such as Beast Cleave and Turbo Cleave quite often. Some good ways to deal with this is to focus on playing attrition dampening comps such as Elemental Shaman, Frost or Arcane Mage, or Elemental Shaman and Moonkin. The Gosu crew, otherwise known as Absturge, Peekaboo, Whizkay, and Jellybeans, have been dominating the NA ladder with Thug Cleave, which is Rogue Hunter. Obviously, Beast Mastery has been dominating the ladder, and thus has been nerfed accordingly. However, you should still expect Survival Hunter to remain a powerful force to be reckoned with, so if you're a hunter out there, definitely consider switching specializations, as Jellybeans has been performing phenomenally. Method Orange, Sidu, Samayam, Mez, and Trill have been focusing on Beast Mastery compositions quite a lot, but as we all know, Beast Mastery has received a heavy nerf, but they have also focused their attention on Demon Hunter, as Demon Hunter is looking to be a heavy burst, high mobility, and good utility spec. Demon Hunters pairing up with Warriors even after the nerf, and a Resto Druid or Mistweaver to allow them access to low cooldown cooldowns and high consistent damage is likely to remain a powerful composition. Snuts has been making Affliction Warlock work, somehow, with the Azerade trait Inevitable Demise, and Spirit Link, which is an honor talent for Resto Shamans. He has been playing with an Arms Warrior, however since the Arms Warrior nerfs, you can probably switch out in between for an Assassination Rogue. 
uh, with Beam Hunter and Arms Warrior being nerfed quite heavily, this should allow some breathing room for Warlocks and Shadow Priests to rise to the forefront again. However, I would highly suggest using the Spirit Link Honor Talent to allow them to survive through heavy single target burst. Wallabear, who is a BlizzCon finalist and currently the highest rated player in NA, is playing Feral Druid, paired with an Arms Warrior and Mistweaver Monk. However, it's unlikely uh, that this composition will remain as powerful with an Arms Warrior. Uh, Feral Druids should expect to see high strength with Feral Fire Mage Healer, more notably a Holy Paladin, and Jungle Cleave with Survival Hunter replacing the Beast Mastery for now. Evangeline, also a BlizzCon competitor, has been on the first page of the North American ladder for the start of this season, playing Retribution Paladin Hunter Healer. However, once again, the Hunter moving forward is likely to change to Survival, but Retribution Paladin Assassination Rogue is also a good alternative. Finally, Boomkin Subtlety Rogue Holy Paladin has been tearing up the ladder with the talent Repentance, bringing extended CC chains. This comp can take a healer out of the fight for what could be the longest amount of time possible in World of Warcraft. Paired up with high burst and good swapping potential, someone on the opposing team is always in trouble. Alright everyone, that's it for this EU and NA meta update. Please let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this content type and if you want to see more of it. We'd also like to know how often you'd want these kind of updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.